welcome to another video by Sid Let's Play. Now, in today's video, I got another um, video about Clash Royale, as you can see here. And I've got a good Arena 5 and Arena 6 deck here. So, obviously, every deck has 8 cards. And the first card in this deck is going to be the Goblin Barrel. The Goblin Barrel is a very good direct damage card. If not attended, it can do easily at least 500 damage. Especially if it's high leveled. I'm only one away from getting it to level 3, so definitely looking to upgrade that. And then we got the Zap spell, which is honestly one of the best common cards in the game. Not only does it do decent damage, but it also kind of like freezes the opponent's troops for like a good 2 seconds. Like... And that is very, very key. And you can see that in many situations, it is a very, very good card. We got Arrows for Minion Hordes, which is a very common card, which is why I'm using it. And uh, we also have Spear Gops. Now we got the free spell here. So if we have a giant push and he puts like, say like barbs and we have our own Minion Horde, but our giant skeleton is very low on health, I can easily, easily just freeze his tower and those barbs and the giant skeleton can easily get to the tower once the minion horde kills the barbs. It's it's one of the key components to this deck. Then obviously we got the giant skeleton here. His bomb does very, very good damage. As you can see, his bomb does 792 damage. And it has 2,200 hit points. So as long as you get it to that tower, which is, let me just tell you, the most satisfying feeling in the game then you're literally set like it does like at least half damage to your opponent's tower depending on your level and um it's just a solid card next card we have here is um the inferno tower now this card is very 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 powerful against giant decks like say people would put a giant in the back and then like stack it up this is a very good counter to that because before the giant can even get a punch off, this inferno tower is just gonna melt it. Very good counter to giant witch or giant musketeer. Very, very good counter to any giant decks or hog rider decks. So let's get into some battle or some replays to show you how this So deck the works. first replay here, as you can see, this uh, this guy also has a giant skeleton. So I just decided to get some trickle damage to, with my spear gob, but he places a bomber. So it is a one elixir disadvantage for him, but then he decides to place his giant skeleton. And at this moment, I knew our decks were very, very similar. So the Inferno Tower, as you can see, easily kills the giant skeleton. And he placed a Goblin Barrel, so I thought at this point, our decks are the most similar things. But as you can see in his like card collection right now, that they weren't. So we're doing exactly the same on elixir right now. I'm gonna put my giant skeleton in the back, try to create a giant push, but he's gonna also play his balloon right when I hit full elixir and right when he hits full elixir. So Minion Horde is a great counter to the balloon, but he has a level 6 musketeer, which can one shot kill my minions, but that's okay because as you can see, my minions did kill the balloon, and then the spear goblins can kill off the musketeer. Now this guy, he defended my giant skeleton very very well but as you can see my goblin barrel got very very good damage at least 500 damage and he tried to place a goblin barrel but i arrowed that completely stopped that whole thing right away i give him a little thumbs up just because i counted that i don't know why i did to be honest so it looks like once i hit full elixir i'm gonna put my giant skeleton and he's going to place his balloon again exactly the same way. So I place my giant skeleton. And then I think he... I don't know what he does. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he places giant skeleton up the other end. So I have my inferno tower. Easy, easy counter to that. Can easily melt that. He places his musketeer. But the giant skeleton is not going to get distracted. Except he places the archers, which is so huge. And the, the giant bomb could not get to the tower. So now we're in double elixir time. Uh, the balloon can easily get countered by the um, by the minions, and then he places goblin barrel, which I easily arrow. My minions are coming to the tower, which are gonna do some nice damage. And then he places another giant skeleton. So I'm just like, okay, I'll just inferno that. And then he has a bomb. He has a bomber. Yeah, bomber. 
So I just like, I'll stop all this. I'll just place a good giant skeleton to stop his whole entire push. Now, I place my own goblin barrel to get some good damage. And um, it really does actually. I zap his tower too. So that is why the zap is very key. The zap just got the giant skeleton to his tower. That is so key and I can't believe it worked. And pr I pretty much just won the game. Just put a giant skeleton to defend anything and the goblin barrel is just gonna win me the game. Boom. And I just, I just freezed his troops just so they can get any damage off. And one second into overtime and we just won. So as you can see, the goblin barrel and the giant skeleton are very, very key in this deck. So let's get into another replay to show you what else this deck can do. So into another battle. This one is a very quick battle. I just wanted to stress how good the Goblin Barrel is. So we're both saving up our elixir at this moment. And this in this match just ends in a minute. We I put my giant skeleton in the back, trying to start up a push. He's gonna poison it, which in my opinion isn't that good because that's kind of a waste of four elixir because it only does like about 100 damage to my tower and the giant skeleton didn't get phased at all. I put my spear gobs and I zap those minions so they get killed and um, I put my own minion horn. Now this guy's in a, in a little tricky situation so I'm like I see a barb hut he probably has no elixir so to counter my goblin barrel I'm just gonna kill it with the goblin barrel. And my every single troop helps out. And then as you can see, I place my freeze so perfectly. Both his towers are gone, frozen, and they can't do any damage to any of my troops. And bang, I just won. Because he couldn't do anything. He just tried to place a giant, tried to distract my troops. But that didn't even help at all. So that was a quick battle. Now let's get into a live battle. Okay, into the battle we go. We're going to be going up against Carlos from Los Papu Pro. So, um, we have a very kind of weak starting hand, more defensive. Okay, so he plays his Goblin Barrel, so I'm just going to zap that. Just get that out of there. We're already at a one elixir advantage. But um, now that we're at full elixir, I'm just going to place a minion horn. Maybe. Okay, so he's going to place his own minion, so I'm just going to place some Spear Gobs. Um... And you got a bomber now. I'm not gonna worry. My, okay, there you go. There's a giant skeleton coming up against a fellow giant skeleton. So, um, okay, I'm gonna arrow this goblin barrel. Don't want that to be a problem. Okay, he got no damage off my tower. So now that we have our have our tank in the lineup, we're just gonna place him in the back once we reach full elixir. So if he plays anything, we can defend it. Okay. So, now, right when he gets to the border, or we'll see what he counters with, but once he gets to the border, if the guy hasn't put, okay, I stand corrected, okay. Um, see, like, a minion horde would be bad, okay, I'm just gonna zap all these skeletons. Boom, okay, now let's put some spear gobs. Okay, I don't think the giant skeleton's gonna reach the tower, actually, so. The witch is gonna die, though, which is good, so I'm gonna put some minion horde. Cause he has no minions. I think I'm expecting spear gobs, so I'm just gonna arrow that. Put a goblin barrel. Get some really good, really good trip damage. Zap that bomber. Zap the tower. Boom! Already his towers under 500. Four, 369 guys. So he hasn't touched our towers, but his towers already down to 359. Oh shoot! We don't have a zap or a arrow, so. We're just gonna have to deal with that damage. Not not too bad. 500. Okay, let's put our own giant skeleton. Let's counter him. He puts minions. I'm just gonna arrow it. Here you go. Oh shoot. Boom. Gonna zap that. Ah, I thought I could get there. Well, still regardless, we can just put a goblin barrel and that tower is gone. So not too worried about that. We can just pull out our freeze and boom. Freeze. There you go, that tower's gone. Now, hopefully one of the goblins, actually one of the goblins got the witch down to half health. Okay, so let's drag it here, arrow here, zap all this cheese, 
and then put a giant skeleton of our own so he doesn't get any damage. There you go. As you can see, this deck was very, very, very good against this Carlos. He also had a giant skeleton deck, but we easily beat that. So, this deck is pretty much if you counter all the attacks and then do a good giant skeleton push, you can easily beat him. And um, the goblin barrels and minions push, that was a total game changer. And um, this battle actually portrayed how effective the goblin barrel really is, because that pretty much just won us the game. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Um, subscribe if you're new and uh, comment down below if you want me to do any like challenges on Clash Royale or um, anything like that. So um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.